Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about slurs like that, and I'm going to show you all the tricks so that they can do slurs as a pro. Now, when we talk about slurs, we're talking about two parts. One is the hammer on, which is like that, and then the pull off, which is like that. So it's very easy when you only have one finger on the string. All you need to do is pull this finger down, straight down, and rest the finger on the next string, like that. I've seen people try to lift this finger up, try to make a sound. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So just pull the finger straight down. You get the maximum sound. It's what we want. Another scenario is when you have one finger already on the string, and you try to do this. Those two fingers are not all pulling the string down. No. In order for the string to stay steady, those two fingers have to create different energy or different force to cancel each other out so that the string stays steady, right? So the first finger actually pull the string up a little. See? Pull the string up a little so that the second finger can really pull it down. So the sound is clear. It's always clear. See? Like that. Now, there is another part which is trickier, which is the hammer on. It requires power and precision. How to get that? Power is created by not using only small joints, but bigger muscle, your whole arm. Which means, when I do this, it's not just my. Second finger alone do the work, even though it might seem that way, but it's actually me using the whole arm and doing the motion like with a key trying to open the door, and I'm using this whole arm, the whole hand here. It is very powerful. How you practice it, you can actually find a knuckle on your right hand and just try to. Hit it. All you need to do is hit the same place over and over and over again to practice the precision. You know, I remember when I was at school, I probably did this for the whole day, and it helped tremendously, actually. So you can do this with great precision and power. You can do this on the guitar. You need to make bigger movement at first. Then you can minimize the movement later on, but you have to feel that you're using bigger muscles rather than you know a small joint, so that is more efficient. Another part to it is that why is it called hammer on? Just like a hammer, you hit it once and then that's it, and then you release, relax immediately. That's the deal. So you hit it and then relax, relax, then. Pull it off. That's the movement. See, so you hit it, pull it up, hit it, pull it up, hit it, pull it up, like that. It's always easier to make the movement big first and then rein it in rather than the other way around. So just try to use big movement and create a big sound. Then pull it off. Rest the finger onto the next string. You can practice the precision just on anything, on your knuckles, on a pencil, on a piece of paper, on the guitar, like that. But you see, even though my fingers are very independent, however, they move together in order to create a big force, a big, a big powerful sound. You see. They move like a cloud or like a lion's mouth or something. You know, they move together like that, like that. And this one-time strike thing, like that. And you see, it's already red. And that's how you create a very powerful sound. I hope this is helpful. And if you have any question, please let me know. I feel this is interesting. If you like it too, please hit the subscribe button and click like. And I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.